Gonna add a three bladed master air screw propeller to our Aero Scout. And it's listed as a 3MR Black 6x3.2. If you want the actual part number, it's right here. And we bought this from masterairscrew.com. And if you can see right there, there's the, uh, the number if you want to get that. So I'll try to put a link in the description. Okay, so here's the old prop and here's the new prop. There's two sides on this one. This side is labeled and it says Master Air Screw. That's the one that goes in towards the front of the aircraft. And if you look at it before you take off, you can see the leading edge and the trailing edge line up that way. So to take this old prop off, you just kind of hold the motor and turn this here and then, then this whole screw comes back. So once that comes off, there's this bolt right here and this nut, and then you just pull the prop off. I labeled this just so I could remember if I ever need to put it on. Now, there's a spacer right here that, that needs to come off, and it might be tight. If you grab it and you just start to turn it, it's kind of, it's so tight it's almost threaded a little bit. So if you grab it and twist it, I put these little vice grips on it and turn it, and that starts it coming off there. Turn the motor against it and it's actually starting to unscrew on there it's on there so tight so that spacer has to come off and then you'll store that with your propeller your spare one so then find the part that's labeled the master air screw and then you put that on here all the way in and push it and it's kind of tight but push it in there and then you take the, the nut that you took off and you put that right back on and thread that on there and try to get that as tight as you can because you don't want that to slip. So if you want to use a little set, set of pliers on there, you can. Don't get it too tight that you're really smooshing it, but there's nothing wrong with having it nice and tight because you don't want that prop to, to slip when it's under force. And after that, I just fire it up, plug it in, uh, stay clear of the propeller, and then you can hold it back and just do a, a, a thrust check on it and make sure that it's pushing. If you get like a squealing sound to it, most likely you put it on backwards. So you should be able to feel a nice uh, push of air behind you when you do your, your thrust check, and it, it shouldn't be really squealy. So I'll, I'll actually film a little check for you real quick. All right, so now we're all plugged in here, and I can go ahead and, in this case right now, I've got the uh, throttle lock on. See, that's why you're hearing that beeping right now. Turn that throttle lock off, and I'm holding the tail off screen. You can't really see it, but you can push up the throttle. Obviously, don't be around the arc of the propeller when you do this, but you can stand in behind here and feel the thrust. So, And that's uh, my low battery warning there.